Hey, how's it going there, folks? Welcome back here to a Sunday night. It is the Earthmaster out here, about 6.42 p.m. California time. Got, uh, well, Sunday, August 11, 2024 is the date. Got some uh, Aurora activity stirring up out here, it looks like, across the uh, states. This is the current imagery I just took here off of my phone of the solar app. And, of course, being out here in California, we might get a little viewage here. A little bit later on it's still light out right now but uh, goodness here over Chicago area and a lot of the northern tier states even dipping down into the uh, parts of the southern plains here uh, it's seen some Aurora activity here this evening and that is due to an elevated KP index coming in right now looks like we're stretching up there around the G2 class storm KP index of 7 is what I read here uh, doesn't look like these have updated yet but I'm sure it will uh, again, this just coming in. Here is the current Aurora Oval, the 30-minute forecast here. And as you can see, overhead Aurora is possible here across a lot of these uh, states. Uh, South Dakota, North Dakota, Minnesota, maybe stretching down even. It looks like a little bit down into uh, Nebraska as well. So if you have dark, clear skies, get out there and uh, see what you can see in terms of maybe uh, picking up the Auroras tonight. Uh, that is due, again, mainly because of a uh, little bit of amplified conditions here. Uh, the BZ component, for one, is the big player. Notice that the coverage here, these red dots, are below this line right here, which is a southward pointing BZ component of the interplanetary magnetic field. That allows a lot of the auroras to ramp up here. Density, not so much. Uh, and same for the speed as well. Now, if we get uh, if we get some further push of plasma with these conditions, the auroras could even amplify amplify further. Uh, but right now, we're just seeing uh, some solar wind stream along with that BZ component here, uh, allowing for the amplification. Now, this is the uh, KP index six is what uh, is being reported by the Alaska folks. Um, and their forecast line here, this is going to be the view line down into uh, portions of Kansas, it looks like, Oregon, and uh, various states out here. Uh, and that is for tonight, the current ongoing KP index here of 6. And let me see what we got here once again. See what Kevin's reporting uh, looks like uh, alert geomagnetic K index of 6 was observed. G2 class storm. Uh, again, I picked up here on my phone that it has reached a 7. And these apps on the phones are sometimes ahead of the websites out here. So uh, it does look like things are continuing to elevate in terms of the Aurora activity out here tonight. So get outdoors. Maybe not if you're down in Antarctica. Obviously, that's going to be quite cold. But if you got clear skies out there, man, imagine the uh, imagine the view out there right now. Spectacular. Uh, but for us here in the North American side of the world, looks like tonight tonight might be a, a little treat here. Super heavy duty up into the uh, Canada area, Greenland, and Iceland area, getting in on uh, quite a bit of aurora, uh, heavy aurora activity up there right now. Us here in the States, watch it. It's uh, definitely picking up here. So I'm going to go out. I don't know if I'm going to see it down in Northern California. You just never know. And again, it's all dependent on this BZ component with these dots registering well below this line. And that's a good sign. That's why I said if we get anything, uh, any further push of density or plasma coming in, things could get even more elevated. So we'll continue to watch that. And of course, uh, it was forecasted here for a G2 class storm tonight. Uh, this is August 12th UTC time. And, uh, well, we'll see what happens, right? I mean, it's obviously it's kicking up right now. Um, get outside. I'm hearing a lot of reports already of uh, some visuals taking place out there across the Great Lake states and, of course, northward into uh, Canada and Alaska. All right, uh, let's give a quick glance here of earthquake activity. Got an odd earthquake way north here around the Greenland Sea, 5.1 coming in here just within the last hour. That could potentially be a sign of things starting to pick back up here across Iceland. So let's go, uh, let me go over here to the Iceland chart and then we'll check out California 
uh, earthquake activity here in a second. Okay, we're good. Uh, earthquake activity, got about 100 earthquakes here on the map in the last 12 hours. Uh, I'm going to zoom in this area around the Grindavik area where we're seeing continued earthquake activity. Not, not what I would expect to see prior to any imminent eruption, but we are getting pressurized out here. This microquake activity giving a, a good indicator here of the pressurization subsurface area. And that does unfortunately include areas around Grindavik underneath this town as well. Um, so, you got to watch this. Things are quite elevated out here across this area. All right, earthquake activity away from there. Let's see what we got for California. Still rocking out here slightly. Nothing big. Bunch of ones out here in two separate uh, swarming areas around Ridgecrest and also, of course, down here across the Bakersfield area where we got about 30 earthquakes here in the last 24 hours. That gives us a total tally here of just about 550 earthquakes since that 5.2 struck there uh, a couple days back now. So things are... Um, they're dying off, but, you know, don't let your guard down here. Still got uh, some activity ramping up here in terms of continued small microquake activity out here. The rest of Southern California, pretty quiet. Not a whole lot going on. Same for the Pacific Northwest. Cascadia subduction zone. Let's see what we got for trimmer here tonight. No trimmer. Well, it's a little early. It's only about uh, it's almost 7 here, California time, and I think the trimmer map updates soon, but it, it hasn't as of yet, so i have to check back on that a little bit later. far as the rest of the globe goes, uh, let's see what we got. Anything major going on out here? Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet, aside from way up north around the Greenland Sea. A little bit of activity stirring up here in Mexico, and... Um, Hawaii pretty quiet for now. South America area getting uh, some migration up and down this major subduction zone region called the Peru Chile Trench. We've seen a five pointer out here earlier today. Looks like a handful of deeper quakes on the globe. Notice these rings being raised well off the globe, indicating deeper quakes migrating northward here along that plate boundary. So keep an eye on the South America area. New Zealand, a couple smaller quakes out there, some deeper quakes up north into the Tonga Trench. And I uh, got some typical clustering going on here across the Philippines southward. Far as Japan goes, got another 4.1 out here, it looks like. Uh, that's going to be yeah within our area, right about here, where that uh, seven-pointer struck here a couple days back. They're still maybe eyeballing this area for a mega quake here in the near future, so definitely keep an eye on that. The rest of the Pacific uh, Ring of Fire, or the North American Plate, pretty quiet. Alaska area, not seeing a whole lot of movement up there for now. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Uh, seismograph stations here, pretty quiet. Uh, the main thing is, I just wanted to jump in here and uh, provide a little bit of update here on the amplification out here of the auroras. And it looks like maybe tonight is going to be a good night to get out there. How far south is dependent on a number of factors out here, whether you have clear skies or not, and uh, a view of the northern horizon, clear view that is. And um, as long as that BZ component there points south, that will allow anything that comes in here, including just regular solar wind stream, to uh, be observed here across the ionosphere. And uh, these auroras here could be... Um, Nice little view a little bit later. I mean, they actually, right now looks pretty decent, but it could continue through the night. And um, we'll just kind of have to watch this. I'm, I still got sunshine out here. Feels much later than 7 o'clock. I don't know why. Feels like about 10 o'clock right now for some oddball reason. Uh, but I will be out here after dark seeing what I can see. Um, there's a chance, maybe. Just a chance we might, might be able to see that down here. Uh, a little bit further south here in the uh, lower latitudes pending everything stays as it's going we'll check back in on this i guess uh, if things decide to kick up anymore uh, and then of course uh, it's seven o'clock right now so I'll probably jump back on here before the night's over to do a uh, a further update here on this so in the meantime uh, if you got dark skies and uh Aurora's out there. Let us know where you're at, what you're seeing, and uh, 
how spectacular they are. And if you want to share your pictures, give uh, give me an email. Send them to earthmastermail at gmail.com. Let me know where you're at. Maybe what kind, what kind of uh, camera you took them on and whatnot. And uh, we'll share them out here on the update video. We'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later on this evening.